Hey guys, I'm pleased to be joined by Jonathan Shokri, and he's the founder of Me Undies. Jonathan, thanks so much for sitting down with me today. Thanks for having me. Okay, so this is so exciting. It's great to have you here. We had you, you know, we, we've spoke with Me Undies a few times in the past, but I want to get an update. There's a lot of new stuff you guys are doing. So you launched in 2011, and you kind of were like first with the subscription boom. So kind of take us through the idea to really start the company and, and why to make it a subscription at the time. Yeah, well, around eight years ago, there was this subscription boom that was happening. Um, there were a lot of companies that were launching in that space, and I felt like underwear made more sense than a lot of the businesses that were coming out um, with a replenishment model. And a lot of people I spoke to, particularly men, yeah. were running into the problem of not having <laughs> enough underwear, and I thought it made a lot of sense to launch, you know, with your basics. And, and is it because like? people don't want to buy them, people don't think about buying underwear, and it's so nice just to have, you know, new underwear every month if you have to think about it. I think it's just one of those things there's the last thing you think about, like especially going to the store dudes, to buy underwear. Right? Yeah, yeah, especially guys. You tapped into that market, which is like a very tough market. Like guys don't shop, you know, especially for basics, right? Yeah, and so socks and underwear, I think, go hand in hand. They're mm -hmm. the last thing, like, you know, usually you open your drawer and you may have like mixed socks. <laughs> And That's so it was definitely worst. a problem that we were looking to solve. And uh, we saw a lot of success with underwear and then rolled out socks and now getting into loungewear and bras and other products as well. Now, um, last month, you guys kind of evolved the subscription model into a membership. So what was the process behind this? And, and why did you want to you know, kind of take it to this next level? And, and what's the difference, really? So it's a big difference. Um, I mean, I think when we launched, it was kind of table stakes, more or less. Um, in regards to, you know, good quality products and good cu customer service was, uh, you know, was easy to kind of scale. But now there's so much competition coming out. Um, you really need a lot more. And what we were looking to do is kind of take um, something that was a little bit more transactional and, you know, add a little bit more flair to it and make it a little bit more relationship-based and mm -hmm. drive a little bit community around it. So yeah. we've seen a lot of success now relaunching with uh, this membership. And do people get, you know, more exclusives or more limited editions with it, or? Yeah. So with the with this new program, you get an exclusive pair that comes out only for members every single month. Oh. So we launched uh, Keith Haring last month and Basquiat this month, which are just exclusives for this membership. Um, and we're really excited about the, the collaborations that are coming out. Yeah, what other, like what do you look for when you think of, you know, collaborating with artists and, you know, because you do so many fun, cool things, like are you always trying to kind of stay timely or do some throwbacks or what kind of goes into, do you crowdsource for maybe the social media of what people want? It's a little bit of both. I think it's about being timely and also kind of reviving some of the nostalgia from our era. Yeah. Uh, so we just launched Star Wars that I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. And it was it's our biggest hit so far to date. Mm -hmm. And so there's definitely something there about kind of tapping into the past and having some fun. Yeah, definitely. So um, do you think that the membership, or do you hope the membership is going to really accelerate the brand um, in, and the growth of the brand in general? Yeah, for sure. I mean, membership is half of our business right now. They're our best customers. They're the most engaged with our with our brand and company. We see them going on social, you know, at higher rates and sharing. Um, and they love getting engaged and kind of sharing their newest print every single month and mm -hmm. kind of going through the un unboxing experience per se. Right. So it's a lot of fun. And there's a lot of like real life couples I notice on like social that where they're matching sets, which is fun, like to match your partner. So I think that's always really fun when you guys kind of do stuff like that because um, the community seems so engaged. Yeah, I just think it's times have changed and the era of like buying intimates for your girlfriend I think is also changing. <laughs> And right. what's more fun than like a matching pair of like Star Wars underwear yeah. or panda or pizza underwear? It's it's way more fun. It's like, you know, it's like Netflix and chill and let's put on some me undies. <laughs> yeah, something something really comfortable. Um, okay, so I wanna talk about your first brick and mortar, which you just opened at the New Century City, uh, Westfield Mall, which is an amazing mall. Um, why did you want to open brick and mortar and, and how do you think it's gonna impact just the overall company? Yeah, well, I mean, brick and mortar, being an online-only business, it's kind of hard to, you know, interact with your brand in real life and let people feel and touch your product. And so it was our opportunity of really creating a space where people can come in and really get to feel the brand and get to understand what it's like to, mm -hmm. you know, live it. And um, we had our first pop-up on Abbot Kenny a couple years ago, did another one in Stanford Mall up north, and then uh, opened our permanent store in uh, Century City 
uh, Westfields Mall, which we grew up going to. So it's been really exciting. Oh, that's so cool. So do you plan to roll out more? Yeah, in the future, we plan on rolling out more mall, mm -hmm. uh, more stores, uh, hopefully, you know, street retail and in malls. Yeah, and would you ever do maybe like exclusive stuff for members in the store if they come in or something, or do you already do that? Yeah, I mean, we've done cool, we're, we're, we've done cool events, and we plan on rolling out some more in the future as well. Yeah. Okay. As far as expansion, we talked earlier about um, expanding more into socks and basics. Uh, any plans for more of that in the future when it, when it comes to men, I mean, women's or kids or anything else? Yeah, a lot of cool new product expansions this next year. Uh, don't want to give anything away too early, but. That's Definitely some things for men and women that are coming out. Okay, very cool. Any any thoughts of like going into like kids or families, like matching families or, you know, anything like that? <laughs> Maybe you should come work for us. Yeah, uh, yeah so a lot of a lot of exciting uh, new product launches over the next yeah. two years. Okay, well this has been so exciting. Before I let you go, what is like the go-to style if people haven't tried me undies? What do they have to try? Is there like the best-selling? Item. For men, it's definitely our boxer brief, and for women, our cheeky brief. Uh -huh. uh, I, I recommend subscribing and getting matching pairs. Right, because if you subscribe, you save like 13% or something on every every style, About 30%, right? yeah. 30%, even much better than that. Um, well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for joining me today. It's been really fun. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to send it back over to everyone in the New York Stock Exchange. Bye, guys.